But first, yet again, the Albanese government seems to be contradicting itself and letting down our allies when it comes to defence and foreign policy. It was revealed this morning that the Defence Minister, Richard Miles, was yet to respond to a formal request from the Ukrainians that we donate our fleet of retired Taipan helicopters to them. Now, that request came in more than a month ago. And it was revealed then late this afternoon in breaking news that the Acting Defence Minister, Pat Conroy, had formally rejected that request. Now, it's worth keeping in mind that this really is not a huge ask, given the helicopters are grounded. We're not using them. They're going to be chopped up by our military and disposed of. Pat Conroy was asked about this today. You know, I'm not going to engage in hypotheticals, but one, um, you're suggesting that we approach a government when we have no idea whether these aircraft are safe to fly. Now, he's been caught out there. He's saying, you're suggesting we, we contact the Ukrainians. No, they've already contacted you. That's a blatant mischaracterisation of the situation. They are asking us for, uh, for assistance. For more on this, and we're, and we're rejecting them, we know that now this afternoon. For more on this, I'm joined now by Michael Shoebridge, the Director at Strategic Analysis Australia. Uh, Michael Shoebridge, we, we know there's been safety concerns about these helicopters, although I might add, though, we've been using them for a decade. But if the Ukrainians want them, knowing that, and they're fighting a war, I think they've got bigger things to worry about than some minor issues with these choppers, we can't in all conscience uh, chop them up for spare parts and bury the airframes. And these mixed messages between Conroy, the Prime Minister, and the Defence Minister, Richard Miles, these guys aren't even on the same page. No, Peter, this is not just sad. This is a major error by the Albanese government. The Ukrainians desperately need military helicopters. Their formal request says they want to use these helicopters to evacuate wounded Ukrainian soldiers from the front line and save lives. And sitting here in Canberra, Pat Conroy has said, oh, there are safety concerns, so we can't give them to you. Well, the safety concerns the Ukrainians have are that they're in a war and they need to do everything they can to protect their soldiers. We should help them by giving them things we're getting rid of and we can't even sell. It's it, The minister is being run by the Defence Department and it turns out the only thing the Defence Department can do quickly is make mistakes. Yeah, I was going to say that years ago I worked for Defence Minister Robert Hill and it feels like right now the minister's not running defence, defence is running the minister. Yes, and this idea that the disposal strategy, I heard Pat Conroy saying, oh, I'd need to take you through the timeline. In September, we decided on a disposal strategy for the helicopters and the Ukrainians only asked them, uh, asked them for us in, in December. Does that matter? If we've still got the helicopters and we haven't yet buried them, why don't we stick them on a ship and give them to the Ukrainians? The Ukrainians deal with all kinds of technology. They're flying very unsafe old Soviet helicopters now. These would be a real advantage to the Ukrainians in their war.